Hello mates, new and old, and welcome back to Mates with Mike. In this video, I'm in Medellin, Colombia, and having just bought an Insta360 X3 3D camera and a DJI wireless microphone, they couldn't clip together, and that was a big problem for me. Online and in shops, I couldn't find any accessories that solved this problem, so I had to come up with my own 3D model design and get it printed at a 3D printing store. In this video, I will take you along with me to the 3D printing store and show you exactly how this all works. But first, what is 3D printing? Okay, so just like for a normal printer where you have a text and image file you'd like to print, for a 3D printer you have a 3D model file that could be anything that you want to print in real life. It could be a toy, a spoon or any crazy shape that you would like to try out. And instead of using ink to print a layer of text or image on a piece of paper, you use plastics, rubber and metal to print layer upon layer on top of each other until you have a real object in the real world. So, okay, let's go. Here we are. Ah, camera. Ah, hola, 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 hola. Hands hanging. Hands, hands hanging. Michael Worthington Kevin. Here we are. Click our way up. Okay. And eight. Eight. Whew. Knock, knock. Hey, hey. This is hey. the genius behind all the prototypes. <laughs> These are all 3D printers. Ah, okay. What happens is uh, you, 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 come back you have a design, yes, yes. a 3D model. Okay. You send it to this machine and it prints it for you. And there are so many different versions of this. And they all use plastic. So look at this. This is something being printed. I'm not sure what it is, but as you can see, it looks like, uh, it seems like, uh, I won't say what it looks like, but each, each line is being printed and you build it layer upon layer upon layer. And they leave these machines to run overnight. So what you can do is come, oh look at this, I think there's some damage, this is print and you have to be careful when you print, small things can affect it such as the air conditioning can cool the plastics quickly and here you see this is the raw material, it fits through, goes through here and this is where all the heat melts it and this extrudes all the hot molten plastic and this thing with the information sent from the computer goes and prints layer after layer just like this is and each of these machines does a slightly different job they're all for different precision or from a different company here is another machine here is another machine some of the things you could come and print here this is a cookie cutter a crazy one look at these intricate flowers EQ3D. I wonder, I wonder what this is. I'm not so sure. Is that a coin? Hmm. It's a euro, one cent. A jaw with some teeth. They can even make sort of elasticy parts. You could design something like this and put it in your room. Look at the dog. Ooh, wow. Look at this. How cool is this? It's sort of balancing. This is a very cool design. You could also get a product and they can scan it for you and turn it into a 3D model. Look at this. This was all printed as one part. So none of the bits of this lizard are clipped on, they all just came printed together. So it's a very cool lizard. Let's have a look at that. See that? So the thing is with 3D printing, you can have different levels of precision and the more precise your model is, the more it costs usually and there are different technologies you could use. So this one here is pretty interesting. They mixed some plastic pellets with some wood to give it this interesting texture. And if you look closer, I don't know if you can see this, the, each line is a layer that the machine has printed. And look at this, there we go. You can get your palms scanned and printed. 
and for such parts they usually have, it looks hollow but they are sort of honeycomb structures inside to give it some sort of stability. Now look at this, this one has such good detail, so smooth. Over here, look at this. Oh look at this, someone was trying to make uh, an iPhone earbud, interesting. That's pretty cool, let me ask the guys about this. Could I interrupt you for a second? Yes. <laughs> this here, did you scan this or did you model it? I don't know, I think it's uh, uh, in this uh, website. Okay, oh, somebody it's found a, a model. Unlock. Yes, I, yeah. mean, I think it's download. Oh, okay. Yes. Could you show me the scanner thing, please? Oh, uh, the scanner? Yes, please. Okay. Sorry. This is, yeah. So that's how it's you hold the it. the handicap. Yep. It's good. It's so very these soft. are all the scanning lights and they collect all the data. Yes, you, when, you connect, when you connect this cable mm -hmm. there and you connect this computer, mm -hmm. you are made flow. Mm -hmm. or you, it's, it's the same when you paint. Yep. And you can't, you, you, you can, you get up, you get up to the, to the image. Meet the RevoPoint POP3, a handheld 3D scanner ready to transform the world. Whether you're an engineer, a designer, or a hobbyist, POP3 creates a new world of 3D possibilities. Quickly capture detailed 3D point clouds and transform artwork, sculptures, or other models into accurate digital 3D models. Producing lifelike 3D models for 3D printing, gaming development, and animation. With POP3's color scanning, you can replicate any object's colors. POP3 supports all major operating systems, ensuring that it works seamlessly on your devices. Export your models in three formats, ready for importing into most 3D software. With the help of POP3, you can create touching personalized miniatures as unique gifts. Actually, this one is, cool. is your design. Uh -huh. Over here, we, we have with the measurements uh -huh. and the uh, everything we talk on the on Friday. Yes, yes. So uh, here we have the parts. They are actually pretty well manufactured. It feels good to touch. It feels really solid, as you can see. Uh, so I'll pop by this other place and we can test out this build. Looks pretty solid. Yep. Here we go. And the idea is this part should be able to slide in right here so let's test that I may have put it the wrong way I should try it this way I may have just made that it wrong okay wow so that does fit nice and snug so it does work it looks really good so yes looks good as you can see that's success on one of the aspects and let's see how it feels taking it out yep it slides out very well fits in and slides out. Lovely. Lovely and yet to be jubbly. Let's see. Okay, so I hope you guys found that as informative and enjoyable as I did. But before you leave, I would like to give you three takeaway points. Number one, search locally on Google to find the closest 3D printing shop near you. Go and pay them a visit and learn about 3D printing. This is the coolest superpower you could have if you have a problem or something that's broken. You can design or copy a part and get it printed just for you. It's amazing. These shops usually have staff that are very friendly and are there to help you, so do not be scared. Give them a call, find out and turn up. It will be the best thing you've done this week. Number two, you do not need to be able to design your own models. You can find thousands and thousands of free designs online. I'll share a link below. And from there you could just get that copy and either email it or take it with you to the 3d printing shop and they'll be more than happy to help you i'm sure so don't be threatened a lot of it is free and the community online like to help so you can just ask any questions you have three this is actually a very cool business opportunity as you've seen i had a very popular camera and a super popular microphone that do not work well together in fact will smith is the brand ambassador for the Insta360X. So he's probably come across this problem because if he's riding outside and making all this footage, 
you'll have a lot of noise in the background so you'll need something unlike that fits with the Insta360. There are many electronic gizmos always being released daily and if you know something that's needed by people and they cannot solve that because there are no accessories, you could be the guy or girl who designs it, puts it online and sells it to people. It may just cost you about $5 to print one part but it may be sold for $30 so it's a pretty cool business. I myself may actually sell my design because these two things are very popular so if this information has added any value to you please like share subscribe and I'll continue to bring more of this sort of content where I solve business problems and show you how I do it and explore different opportunities because that's something that I like doing I love to travel and I love solving business problems and I love the whole business journey so if that's something you love please make a comment and let me know and I'll show you more of these journeys that I do and I will teach and share with you everything along the way. So, thank you. I'll do it again. Baby boy, sing. Princesa de Colombia. Gracias. Why is it comic? 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 Apparently she's got red cheeks. Chick uh, es roja. Oh, si, si, si. Es muy bueno. Que es lil, lil beautiful. Si. Lil. Broma, huh? Si. Sí. Sí. Broma. He's a funny guy. He's a comedian. <laughs> si, sí, he's a nice guy. Ah. Como es? Speedo, rapido. Ah, rapido. Como? <laughs> okay, she did it, she did it, she's actually a good Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.